we got a special episode for you today. This is Ninja 3 Electric Boogaloo episode. Welcome to film school. Today, you know, I'm a fan, you know, and uh, we're in LA, we're in Hollywood, we're in Beverly Hills, and I found, you know, I'm a big fan. I found Sam Furstenberg's house. Kubrick, Hitchcock, Tarantino, Spielberg, Steven Soderbergh, all of them. We're going to the master's house. How you doing? How are you? How's everything? Revenge of the Ninja. That's the greatest. Which show? It's the greatest 80s action film of all time. This sword was given to me by Shokasugi. Yeah! <laughs> right? All you have to do is, look, without looking... Is that how you got the band-aid for that? <laughs> <laughs> you know, Electric Boogaloo became like re another icon of... It was the beginning of rap. The yeah. really beginning. Ice T was in the movie. Yeah, yeah. But right now, he came to the set. He said, what do I have to do in this movie? Right now he's like a movie star right now, kind of movie. Yeah, yeah. And I said, oh, you're a detective, you're an FBI detective. He said, what, well, the hair is too long. Let me go one second to do. He went and cut off his hair uh, on the spot. There's a famous scene where uh, Turbo, you know, the room, you know, he dances on the side of the wall, he dances on the ceiling. It's the most famous scene out of the breaking movies. It was a sensation. This is uh, Muhammad Ali with Turbo and Ozone and Mr. Furstenberg on a set of Breaking 2. That's a classic pick, man. Michael, Michael Dudikoff and Furstenberg. Furstenberg. Michael Dudikoff, he was like this American hero. This yeah. blonde guy, this <laughs> surfer, good-looking surfer, and he knows how to kick ass. We see the stunt double. Sometimes you see him in a movie like this. It's one part in American Ninja no, 2. No, no. Michael Dudikoff is just standing there talking, and it's Michael Dudikoff. And the next scene, like it's just a totally different guy walks out the room and he walks towards the camera and it's like a stunt double and you go, yo, why did they need a stunt double for Michael to walk out of the room? And I was wondering, I was wondering, well, why, did, why did you need somebody to walk out the room that wasn't <laughs> Michael Dudikov? Shooting a scene and suddenly Michael got sick. We had this the double that looks from the back exactly like him. We shot it from the back, usually we work two cameras, we work yeah. with two cameras. The editor used the frontal shot instead of using the back shot. <laughs> And we didn't, and, and things like this happen in the editing, yeah. through the process of the editing, we didn't realize. <laughs> of course, you edit on a small screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you don't see it. <laughs> and we didn't realize. And so, then suddenly we <laughs> see it on the big screen. <laughs> Whoa, you see the, you see the double guy. <laughs> it's not good. my double. Oh my God. Look at this. I knew you would love this. Oh my God. Woo! <laughs> Come on, man. This is the real, look. That's from Revenge of the Ninja. I actually have a copy of this at home, autographed by Sam, but it's not in it's not as in as good shape as this version. Really. This was uh, merchandised by Shokasuki. Shokasuki. Oh, the belt buckle. The belt buckle. But look <laughs> at this. Oh, it turns into a ninja star. Yeah, how do you take it up? And then. 